Hi, thank you so much for tuning in. I am so excited that you're here. My name is Akini and I am a high net worth financial advisor. Today's video is a fun one. I went to visit my sister up in Toronto in December. So the latter part of December. And this was such a fun trip. I mean, <laughs> it was a fun trip. We got to do so much together. It was really an extension of the things that we did the year before. So the year before, we also did an array of things. It was around fall and we did a bunch of fall activities. And this year was Christmas time. So snowing, uh, cold weather. And initially, I wasn't too thrilled about going at this time of the year because of the cold. But I had been promising my sister that I'd visit, you know, throughout the year. But I had so many trips planned and I wasn't able to so when December came around you know my plan or my routine has always been to go somewhere tropical um, aka home <laughs> but you know because I had promised her it just made sense that I would you know go and visit and check in with her see how things are going one thing that we do when we get together is just talk about what's going on with us and you know when you see someone in person you're able to talk about things that you otherwise don't talk about on the phone the reason as to why i also enjoy traveling is because i always come to some sort of resolve whether on the trip or after the trip so you know i attribute different trips to helping me strongly come to certain conclusions that really help to propel my life forward so this was one of those trips i really i'm thankful that i was able to take this trip because it was beneficial on so many levels for the two of us um highlight of our trip was going to the go place uh spa in new market i mean it was such a luxurious experience you know they have just so many different services it feels very luxurious um you get in the price you know they have like x amount as the price per person to use the facility and you can use it for 24 hours the wait friends was three and a half hours and you cannot book um in advance unless you're booking like a spa um like a facial type thing but it was worth the wait because we did not just sit at the lounge. We went to the mall um, adjacent to the, this place and walked around and had, um, you know, had lunch. So by the time we walked around and came back, it was almost time for us to, you know, to go in. It was such a cool experience. You know, they have a sauna, they have a, they have a, like the women's area. They have a steam room they have places to play games just um like spa chairs to relax they have food so the concept is they give you this wrist thing where you can tap when you go through the different locations therefore adding money to your cost so you have to just be sure you're ready to spend that kind of money because it really adds up but it's not expensive i mean you know we've done some things that cost way more this one wasn't too bad especially for the relaxation that it gives you mm -mm. it was really the highlight of our trip so we enjoyed ourselves We um, had our usual Ritz uh, brunch. We didn't really care for that this time, but it was busy. And I've always said that, you know, if a place is busy, even if it's a high end place, it just takes away from that, you know, exclusivity because, you know, there's just so much going on. So because this was around Christmas time, it can make sense. I got a photographer from 
airbnb and the weather was really bad it was cold really really cold and just you know gray outside but he was able to capture some really really good pictures and he was just so soft-spoken and making sure i was comfortable then my sister told me we had to try um cheesecake from this place called uncle tetsu i think i'm saying it correct <laughs> and the lines the lines there were extremely long but we waited and the cheesecake was really good i can see why it's 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 a very popular place so we did a bunch more things we um went to like a place with like festival lights i forget what it was called i had a whole itinerary and it was good to just write things out and then you know finally we just relaxed uh and did a bunch of videos and you know just really relaxed and i'll hopefully talk about this last part of the video in another video in the future but overall it was a great great time i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to start creating itineraries and putting them on etsy because so far i have a bunch of itineraries i have you know toronto for good weather and bad weather <laughs> or more like winter and then i have you know the merida mexico itinerary i have the montego bay jamaica itinerary and i pray that i'll have more in the future so i think i'm going to create um like a just a nice summary of the things i did for people that would like to do similar things or kind of have an idea because doing the research is not easy you know like you're all on different websites watching different videos and so if you find something that's already well put together i think that would be fantastic this was a fun trip i really enjoyed you know going up north i was like eh, everyone knows you know when people would ask me oh you're going to toronto oh, it's gonna to be cold i was like yeah it's gonna be cold but you know spending time with a loved one is something that you cannot put price tag on you cannot put you know all these other things on because it just yields so many good good things and it's it makes us good people for it you know we grow deeper in in oh oh and i was gonna forget we ushered in the new year at um a church and there was a concert i've never attended a concert before so this was really nice like it was it was an overall really really good trip i mean i can't say so much about it more than i have but it was it was a fantastic trip really it really was well thank you so much for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye